Did you know that your brain fries when watching porn? This is because it impacts the brain, much like an addictive drug, by triggering ever-increasing amounts of dopamine. The good news is that you can reverse this damage. In the next few minutes, we'll explain five strategies that will help you break free from the shackles of constant sexualization, allowing you to refocus your energy on more important tasks. By the end of this video, you'll have a blueprint on how to desexualize your brain and a fresh perspective on how to control your sexual impulses. Step number one, stop watching soft porn. Listen, temptations are all around you, lurking in every corner, waiting to snatch away bits of your time, shreds of your focus, and chunks of your energy. No matter where you look, on your phone, across the streets, there's always something to trigger your sexual cravings. A lot of men think that they quit porn just because they stop watching porn, but they're wrong. Why? Because they keep watching girls almost naked on every social platform, whether it is TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. This is called soft porn. And let me tell you what happens to your brain when watching soft porn. When you watch a video or picture of a hot girl almost naked, your brain gets a dopamine hit almost as high as Mount Everest. This happens because you immediately imagine her having sex with you. It happens. So this innocent picture triggers your brain to keep watching and feeling this pleasure related to sexual impulses. These pictures create a scene in your mind. So it doesn't matter what you do in your day, that little picture you saw, it's gonna pop up in your mind at any moment. If you're strong enough, a single picture is not gonna trigger you to start watching sexual content. But after 10 pictures, your sexual thoughts increase, leading you to spend hours finding that perfect video and you know the rest. But how do we prevent ourselves from watching videos and pictures of hot girls when there are so many of these going all over the internet? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Go to all the accounts of girls you follow and press where it says, unfollow or even better go to your home screen and start deleting every social platform that is triggering your inner urges yeah but you know what i don't want to delete instagram okay that's fine then train the algorithm like and follow only successful people it's time for you to recognize the pit of distractions you've been wallowing in and decide right here right now to climb out but how do i climb out of these distractions i already told you step number two Man up and admit your addiction. Zig Ziglar said, the first step in solving a problem is recognizing that it does exist. You cannot fight an enemy you do not recognize. This reminds me of a story I've never told to anyone. I had a friend called John. He was a public figure and very famous in the city, but he was grappling with a hidden problem, porn addiction. Despite his fame and success, his addiction gnawed at him. He couldn't admit it, even to himself, which only exacerbated the issue. His addiction began to affect his personal and professional life. Relationships strained and he missed important career opportunities due to his preoccupation with pornography. Yet, John kept denying the problem, burying it deeper. It wasn't until he hit rock bottom, losing a critical professional project and facing the potential end of his marriage, that John finally acknowledged the addiction. He eliminated every trigger, worked on himself, and began the journey to recovery. Now he's making thousands of dollars and living his dream life with his wife. Listen, this is something all of us have gone through. But if you notice, only those who admit they have a problem with porn are the ones who overcome it. Men who don't admit they have a problem or addiction to something are the ones who continue indulging in the same bad habits over and over again. Step number three, meditation. Listen, I know you've heard this a lot of times, but if you truly want to take control of your mind and stop beating your own meat, then you must start meditating. Here's why. When you meditate, you are basically controlling your state of mind. When you control your state of mind, you take wise actions because you're not making decisions based on your emotions. Mindfulness and meditation not only help you live more in the present moment, but also help you control your sexual urges. And it is not complicated. You just have to find a quiet corner in your room that will serve as ground zero where you start reclaiming your mind. After this, practice daily meditation. Sit down, keep your straight and control your breathing. Feel the breath as it enters and exits. Start with five minutes a day. Over time, as the debris clears, extend the sessions. This is not a one-time cleanup. It's a daily maintenance of your mental territory. Every day, with every session, you reclaim a part of your mental territory. And trust me, the view from the throne of self-mastery, it's worth every damn effort. Apps like Headspace or Calm can help in guiding you through the trenches of your own mind. 
But remember, they are just guides. The real work is on you. Don't expect them to do the heavy lifting. Step number four, channel your energy elsewhere. Energy is a mighty force, and like any force, it follows the path of least resistance. Sexual energy is no different. It's potent, it's primal, and if left uncontrolled, it meanders into avenues that offer fleeting satisfaction but no real substance. Here's the game changer. You have the power to redirect this energy, to channel it towards pursuits that don't just ignite a spark, but can set ablaze a trail of innovation, creativity, and personal growth. This process of redirecting sexual energy towards more productive endeavors is known as sublimation. Sublimation isn't a new age concept. It's been around. It is, as we mentioned, the redirection of sexual energy into more constructive or productive pursuits. Ask yourself, how much time and energy am I wasting looking at sexual videos and jerking off? Could I use this energy to hit the gym? Could I use it to achieve my daily goals? These questions have helped me conquer my new self. How bad do you want it? Seriously, how bad do you want to achieve your dreams? If you want it bad enough, your entire focus should be channeled into learning and applying skills, not watching porn. How many times do you have to hear this to understand? Engage in activities that challenge your mind and body. Dive into a creative project, learn a new skill, or immerse yourself in pursuits that align with your long-term goals. Every time you feel sexual energy bubbling up, visualize yourself redirecting this force towards tasks that contribute to your personal or professional growth. This way, you retrain your brain into attaining a newer, powerful focus. Step number five, take control over your sexual impulses. Each time you resist an urge, each time you choose a productive task over a momentary pleasure, you're laying a brick on the foundation of a new, stronger you. To reach a new level, you must become the next level. You won't achieve anything if you try to change today and slip back tomorrow. It has to be a sustained effort, an unwavering commitment to the new course you've set for yourself. Every day, make it a goal to stay true to this path. One way to control your sexual urges is by delaying gratification. Train your brain to wait for rewards. If you want to eat pizza on Tuesday, wait until Sunday to eat it. If you want to have sex with your hand, date a beautiful girl instead and see if you can invite her to watch Netflix. The problem that is happening right now is that men are not even putting on the effort to satisfy their sexual impulses. They're just two clicks away. But I know deep inside that that's not you. Listen, this is how we are. Our sexual impulses will always be there. We have to reproduce ourselves to be able to keep existing. But you cannot expect to be sexually disciplined if you continue watching porn. You must go out and talk to girls like a real man. And if you don't have the confidence, then start channeling your energy into becoming your best version, along with controlling your sexual desires. Girls would fight for you if you become sexually disciplined, and you'll start having more sex in your life and not with your hand. Number six, learn how to change any negative thoughts. The monks of Savannah knew how to change any negative thoughts they had. Each time they had a negative thought, they used to go to a cascade of cold water and punish themselves by getting into the water until they couldn't stand it. With this practice, they learned how to control their minds and only have thoughts that would help them with their personal growth. Now, I'm not telling you to go to a cascade each time you have a negative thought. What I'm trying to say here is that you can learn how to change any negative thoughts you have. Let's say that you didn't follow my advice and that you didn't unfollow a very hot model and a picture of hers pops up on your feed. You see it for two seconds, but then you forget about it. Later that day, that image pops up in your mind and you start thinking about watching a sexual video. In that moment, you can change your thoughts by thinking, you know what? I'm becoming my best version today. Today, I won't let any devil control my mind because I'm in God's team. And every man that is in God's team doesn't behave in this way. Boom, you just changed your thoughts. The journey towards overcoming sexual distractions and reclaiming control over your life is a marathon, not a sprint. In this journey, it's vital to keep tabs on your progress. Every small win, every step forward is a victory. Celebrate them. They're your building blocks to mastery. The voyage to desexualize, it's a grueling march through the storm. But on the other side is the life you've always envisioned. You have the map, the tools, and the resolve. Now burn the boats, there's no going back. Get out there and seize the life you deserve.